Well said. Here are some cool facts about our next presenter. He dropped out of high school, but he is such a star that New York City's prestigious Stuyvesant High School claims him as one of their graduates. He dreams about what his life would have been like if he'd played in the NBA, but admits that he was never good enough at basketball to play on that level, but man, he can write, and we're lucky that he can. Don't just take my word for it, he's won the Prince Award, the Jane Addams, the Margaret A. Edwards, two Newbery honors, five Coretta Scott Kings, four Coretta Scott King honors, and he's been a National Book Award finalist twice. You could pretty much rewrite the 12 Days of Christmas and just list the awards this man has won. Please welcome Mr. Walter Dean Myers. What an amazing investment in America this is. It's an amazing investment in America. This is our future. This is our future. And we're making, making that future here tonight. Among the main characters in this category, we have fifth and sixth grade kids and a jackass. <laughs> Big Nate and, and Raina take us through um, a middle school journey with its ups and its downs and its struggles. In Zebrafish and the Red Pyramid, we have adventure and history and mythology. And the jackass tells us <laughs> that books don't always have to treat or jiggle, or even scroll. A good book is a good book. The finalist in this category tells us that fifth and sixth grade kids love books. They love reading. And yes, they are the future of our country. Not that I'm an average sixth grader. I'm meant for bigger things. I'm destined for greatness. Big Nate in a class by himself by Lincoln Pierce. If we think we're a band, we become a band, like a virtual band. How exactly does that work? Zebrafish by Peter H. Reynolds and Fable Vision. To save dad, we must defeat set. As if that had to been on my to-do list for Christmas holidays. See dad, check. Develop strange powers, check. Defeat an evil god of chaos, check. The Red Pyramid, The Cain Chronicles, book one by Rick Riordan. It's a book, jackass. It's a book by Lane Smith. But you knocked your front teeth clean out a year ago and had them removed again at Christmas. How could braces be so much worse? All of that was nothing compared to the pain I'm feeling right now. Smile by Raina Telgemeier. And the winner is <laughs> the Red Pyramid. Look at it What you're talking about, R.L.? I think that's great music. Uh, 
I, I, I called uh, home uh, just a, a few minutes ago and uh, talked to my older son, who's a big reader, and he said, so, Dad, I, I looked at the list of nominees. Did you prepare anything to say in case you won? And I said, no. He said, that's good. It's good, good to have support at home. But uh, I really was not expecting this. I just had a surreal moment when I'm on this stage with a gentleman whose books I taught when I was a classroom teacher. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but this is amazing. Um, thank you to my agent, Nancy Gall. Thank you to the two wonderful editors who worked on The Red Pyramid, Jen Besser and Steph Laurie. And thank you uh, to the children who voted for the books, because after all, they're why we're here. Thank you, guys.